When it comes to running a business or growing an online presence, the one thing on everyone's wish list is more time. There are simply never enough hours in any given day. With the all new Tailwind Create, you can create dozens of personalized Instagram and Facebook designs in the click of a button, edit them in real time, and then schedule them faster than ever before. If you aren't currently using Tailwind Create, you're likely having to design your posts one by one in one place, download them onto your computer, and then upload them as well as schedule and publish them in another place. With Tailwind Create, you can create, schedule, and publish all in one place, meaning you'll save time and cut out all of these unnecessary additional steps. You can also save money by reducing the amount of memberships you're paying for to complete your design and social media tasks. Why pay for multiple tools when you can use Tailwind Create to do the entire job from start to finish? Today, I'll show you how to make designer quality posts using Tailwind Create that you can use on both Instagram and Facebook. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more Tailwind Create tutorials, along with tips and tricks on how to grow and market your business. And be sure to check out the description of this video for a link to where you can sign up for a Tailwind account and start streamlining and optimizing your social media marketing today. All right, so let's get started. Once you're logged into your Tailwind dashboard, click on the Tailwind Create tab on the left-hand side of your screen. As you can see here, our Instagram and Facebook designs will be automatically personalized to our brand. We'll be able to instantly preview a stream of Instagram and Facebook designs, and we'll be able to try on different looks to suit our style. And with Tailwind Create, there is absolutely no design experience necessary. So to begin, we'll go ahead and click on the Start Creating Now button. And now we'll go ahead and set our brand preferences. You only need to set up your brand preferences once. However, you do have the ability to come back and change them later if you need to. So go ahead and start by entering your website or brand name. Next, you can go ahead and select your title font as well as subtitle font. You can search from a list of free fonts that Tailwind Create provides. We can also scroll through and have a look here. Or you can upload custom font. You can also choose from a very handy list of font pairings. These are fonts that complement each other nicely and will look super sharp on your designs. Let's go ahead and search for a font, and then Tailwind Create will give us a list of font pairings that we can choose from. So once you see one that you like, go ahead and click on it. Next, you can go ahead and select your brand colors up here. Now you can add them individually if you'd like. You can go ahead and play around with the colors here. Or if you have the exact hex code, you can add it here or add the RGB information over here on the right. If you don't have a color palette, that's totally fine. Tailwind Create does provide a curated color palette list that we can go ahead and choose from. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this color palette here. Another thing that you can do that's kind of neat is choose a curated color palette and then modify it. So let's say we go ahead and scroll through and we see a color palette that we like. We can go ahead and click on it and then swap out one of the colors to match our brand. So for example, we do have the hex color that we'd like to use and I'll go ahead and paste it here. And now this color palette has been modified to suit our brand a little bit better. Next, you can go ahead and upload your logo. It's a good idea to upload a few different versions of your logo. That way you can apply them on both light and dark backgrounds. You'll also want to make sure that your logos are a transparent PNG file format. Otherwise, you'll see a rectangle or a square behind your logo, and it won't look as good when you go to select your designs. So go ahead and upload your logo. So as you can see here, we've added a darker logo, a lighter logo, as well as an icon. Once you're done setting your brand preferences, go ahead and click on the save and continue button in the bottom right hand corner. 
And on this page here, we'll go ahead and add our post information. We will include things like a destination link. So this would be a link to your specific content. And as you just saw, Tailwind Create will actually pull the content from the web page that you put in the URL field here. So it's pulled the title as well as some of the images from the blog post. You do also have the option to add a stock photo instead. So you could go ahead and search through some free stock photos that you think would go along with your post. And of course, you could go ahead and have a look through and then choose one of these if you'd like. You do also have the option to upload your own photos. And Tailwind Create recommends that you use photos that are 600 by 600 pixels for best results. So if you do have your own photos, go ahead and upload them. And before we move on, I'm just going to go ahead and edit the title ever so slightly. And the title is the text that's going to appear on top of your images. So just keep that in mind when choosing your title. And now that we've gone ahead and uploaded all of our photos, we get to create our images in one magical click. So as you can see here, with very little effort on our part, Tailwind Create has gone ahead and created a bunch of different designs for us. Each and every one of these is expertly designed and optimized for Instagram and Facebook engagement. Plus, Tailwind Create is constantly updating their supply of designs, meaning you'll always have fresh and creative options to choose from. We can go ahead and play around with the design settings over here on the left hand side. We have access to the photos that we uploaded. We can also update the title text in real time. You can also add additional text here. We've got a subtitle as well as a call to action. And again, it's very neat that it's updating here in real time for us so we can see what the designs look like. You can edit the color palette if you'd like. We can also play around with the branding. As of right now, the website is being displayed on the posts. So as you can see, we've got it here, here, and over here. But perhaps you'd like to include your logo instead. Go ahead and click on logo. And then from there, you can play around with which logo you'd like to include. So again, let's have a little scroll through and see all of the different designs so far. Got a few more down here, and this is really cute. So overall, these designs that Tailwind Create has automatically created for us look amazing. They're very professional and creative as well, which is great. However, you may want to tweak some of the designs ever so slightly. So we can certainly do that. Let's go ahead and expand here where it says restyle. And from there, you can go ahead and change things like the colors, as well as the photos. And essentially it's randomly going to pick a new photo for us. And then we can also shuffle around and try out different layouts if we'd like. If you'd like to reposition the photo, you can certainly do that as well. Simply double click on it and then drag it around a little bit. You can also take it a step further by clicking on the edit button. From here, we can go ahead and search for different elements that we can then add to the image. We can also use some of the elements down here. And then we can reposition and resize on our image. You can also rotate the element as well. And you can even change the color. You can either choose a new color here, or you can pull from your brand colors as well. We'll go ahead and add another one here. And again, we'll do the same thing and change the color. As well as resize and rotate it. You can also do things like reposition the existing elements. For example, if we'd like to make the logo bigger, we can. 
perhaps we'd like to make this text a bit smaller, we can definitely do that. If we double click, we can also edit the text. Over here on the right hand side, we can play with things like the text size. You may also want to increase or decrease the letter spacing. If you'd like to change the background color on the image, you certainly can do that as well. Simply click on the background and then over here on the right hand side, click on the color and then choose a different color. If you'd like to add additional text, you can do that as well. Simply click on the text tab over here on the left hand side and then you can replace it with whatever you'd like. Now, of course, this text is way too big, so let's go ahead and make it a bit smaller. And then we can reposition it and drag it down here. And let's go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. Once you're happy with your image and you're all done making changes to it, we can go ahead and click on the Save and Go Back button. As you can see here, the design has been updated and we can see our new edits applied. So to recap, you can try on different looks by trying out different colors, as well as different photos and layouts. You can also take it that step further and edit the design. But once you're done tweaking and editing the designs, we can go ahead and select the ones that we like the best. To do that, we'll go ahead and click on the Select button. And then go ahead and select however many you'd like. Once you've gone ahead and selected your favorite designs, go ahead and click on the Review Your Selection button. From there, Tailwind Create will narrow down your selection. And you do have the ability to go ahead and further edit your designs. Or again, try on a few different looks to suit your style. Once you're happy with your designs, we can go ahead and schedule them. Simply click on the Go Schedule button in the bottom right hand corner. From there, you'll see that your brand new designs have been added to your draft section. To schedule one of your new images, simply click on it. You may have noticed that while I was typing, we were being given suggested hashtags over here on the right hand side. To use one, simply go ahead and click on it. To view more, we can click on this button here. Or if you'd like, you can manually enter them in as well. You do also have the option to post the hashtags in the first comment. And as you can see here, we've got the caption preview along with the first comment preview. You can also add a location as well as a link label and a link. And the last thing that we're going to do here is schedule a time for the post to be published. And the smart schedule feature has actually gone ahead and chosen some optimal times that we can post. So we can choose from those times. We can also select a custom time if we'd like, but I'll go ahead and choose one of the custom times set by the smart schedule. Over here on the right hand side, we can preview our Instagram feed to see what it'll look like. And if we're happy with it, we can go ahead and hit that schedule button. And that is it. Thanks to Tailwind Create, we were able to create, schedule and publish a brand new design all in one place. I hope that you found this Tailwind Create tutorial helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the eStore Kings YouTube channel for more Tailwind Create tutorials and more.